I was at Dollarama and I was looking at their little gizmos and I couldn't help but to get this uh, $5 stick, which I was expecting to just have horrible performance, but basically work. But um, that uh, seemed to not actually be the case and um, I'll uh, elaborate. So this is it and the, the case has a sort of slider thing that slides um, the, the end out. I don't really know how useful that is and it's kind of wasted space so I don't really know what they're achieving by doing that. So I didn't know how safe this was although all USB uh, dongles are supposed to be pretty safe because USB um, is designed to be short circuited but you know not maybe um, hit with uh, stored energy or hit from external an external power source but uh, under its own power USB ports are theoretically not dest uh, destructible so I was trying it out in a router that I got for like ten dollars with OpenWRT and OpenWRT is kind of like um, you know a really slow Linux that does most of the same things so you can uh, do the investigation similar as, as on a PC the test was taking too long on the router, so I took the files that the router wrote and was comparing them on my computer. And what I do is, you know, you write the files to the stick, you detach the stick from the computer, reattach it so it dumps the cache, and you don't want to be comparing the cache, you want to be comparing the stick. And then um, I got differences, and um, with the diff utility, it just tells you if they're different, but the CMP utility tells you what byte numbers and what the byte values are that are different. In some cases, they're scrambled. In some cases, it's all the, the same byte as the wrong byte uh, repeated through a large range. So I may have naively tried to make some sort of a bad blocks uh, thing in software to try to get around any problems. But um, what I found in the end where the problems um, really weren't with the flash stick, but maybe the uh, flash controller. And so this whole strategy wouldn't work. But there's also issues of um, error correction and uh, and other things uh, that complicate this. So at that point I was kind of running out of options and I decided that uh, I'd take it apart to look for um, you know loose connections or obvious problems and I didn't really see any of that. There was some glue gun glue and that was because it was kind of held in place uh, using uh, glue gun glue and um, I thought that probably isn't going to be a problem. Uh, and then when I took it off, it seemed like it, it wasn't, it was working properly. But that's really because as I went along, it, it t tends to work properly just as you put the stick in, but then kind of stop working properly afterwards as a pattern I kind of observed uh, throughout. So what seems to be the situation is it's using kind of um, Asian market parts and it has a uh, first chip controller or maybe um, some sort of a clone of a first chip controller. It's a 2279. The flash chip is probably a clone of a Micron uh, Intel flash chip and it seems to be half the capacity so it's either a controller limitation or there's a lot of bad blocks so they just sort of made it into half the capacity. I came across this utility for this particular controller and um, I thought you know maybe there's some, some settings I could change. It turns out there's not an incredible amount of settings. And uh, some of the things you, that are called scans, I'm not sure if they're some sort of um, low-level, um, you know, allocation or they're just basically verifications. But some of them take would take like days, and I'm not willing to take days. I'm willing to take about 10 minutes, and that's what the factory scan will take about 10 minutes. So I guess there's some sort of EEPROM somewhere, maybe in the controller, and um, so you can see um, what its last uh, certification was and. Uh, some things going on in, inside there. Just as a humorous note, uh, there's a place where you can change some uh, parameters such as the vid, pid, uh, some of the strings. So I just made it kind of a, a stupid name just for my own amusement. Also this um, PCB has a lead that is usually obscured by the case. So it gives you a little idea what's going on. So I tried all kinds of different combinations of the few settings in that utility I could change. And in the end, I found that I, it would always have a problem, but it seemed like always the first writing was reliable. So I think I would think, oh, I've solved it, and then it would always be a problem again. So that led me to kind of think the flash chip isn't the problem, but the controller may be the problem, maybe just with mine. So what I've done now is use my uh, Linux tools to put together um, the, the image of the file system that I want on that stick for the intent of basically using this to give to people 
uh, to give them stuff that I want to give to them, not as a, anything that's immediately useful for me, but it's kind of like a burning a DVD-R, where it gets all burned immediately when I put the stick in, and I, I write the files to it. And I've done this, um, at this point, I've, um, I've done this procedure on a total of probably 35 gigs of data without any errors. So I broke the original case. I'd have to glue it back together to, uh, to use the original case. So I was a little confused about what to do, but um, I know I have these uh, obsolete Bluetooth dongles that I got for free. So it turned out uh, I actually wound up using them. They worked really well. Uh, I transplanted the stuff and uh, it looks good. You can look inside. You can also see that red light flashing. So I don't know if um, everybody has this problem or it was just me, but um, I for sure would not recommend this product and um, at least I found a way that it can kind of be useful potentially as far as I can tell. I've never like wrote the whole capacity. I wrote almost half the capacity. And um, like I say, I've done a lot of tests at this point and it seems to be uh, usable in the manner I, I was describing. So my theory is that um, something goes out of sync or it doesn't like uh, going back and forth between reads and writes or something goes wrong eventually and these errors happen. So um, again, it's just sort of a, a, um, a less than reliable condition.